Good morning, I'm Valerio Baiocchi and I'm here to present you our work. In some countries, like in Italy, there is sometimes the need for um, effective and very fast survey methods for uh, the acquisition of uh, some archaeological areas in which uh, there is remains that are on a wide uh, part of the area. Um, in this paper, we'll illustrate some tests on a real uh, case, the survey of Capo Sele Villa complex in Gaeta, attributed by some authors to uh, Cicero. We'll uh, test different technologies for the uh, survey of the external part and the internal part. Here on the left you can see the location of Gaeta, that is in the center of Italy, on the Tyrrhenian Sea, and on the right all the area that was surveyed that you can see is on the sea. Uh, the, uh, the villa that was surveyed is partly buried, but um, in a part there is uh, uh, also some indoor areas to be surveyed. Here we can see the two drones used. Here we can see the difference between the LiDAR cloud and the optical cloud by matrix, uh, where we can see that the um, worst difference are on these two uh, canopies that we can see here. Here we can see the differences between the two cloud, one made with matrix drone and the other with the phantom drone. Uh, the first example is with the two cloud not calibrated one over the other, and in the second case with calibration. We can see that with calibration the fit increase. This we think may be due to an error in the height of the antenna of the RT Kappa GPS in the drone. Here are the two instruments that were compared from the indoor survey. Here we can see on the left the uh, results of the comparison of the two point clouds uh, without calibrating one over the other and on the right calibrating one over the other. And we can see that this uh, visible worsening of the results. Uh, we thought that this is because uh, probably the shape of the cloud uh, by Islam is um, different from the real shape. Um, this may be its an effect of drift along the survey with Islam. To verify our hypothesis, we calibrate the two cloud on a smaller area and we can see that the fit increase significantly. So our conclusion for the outdoor part of our survey is that RTK GPS is very useful and very interesting, but it's very important to calibrate correctly the height of the antenna inside the RTK drone, or otherwise it can lead to a systematic error. For the indoor part of the survey, we observed that surely the slam is more fast because it acquired the same area in minutes while with the classical laser scanning we need hours, but it showed uh, something like a drift along the survey, so it is important to have a uh, ground control point network that anyways needed also with laser scanning. 